Students of East Tech High School were all aglow at NASA Lewis Research Center. The Cleveland School's first robotics team held a practice session of their robot named the Scarabian Knight. The team is preparing for regional and national competition in Florida coming up in April. It was 1994 where one of the engineers came up to me and said, there's a robotics program in uh, New Hampshire and uh, would you like to have, your, have a team at East Tech? Well, I didn't know what that was. I didn't know what robotics tournament, East Tech. East Tech has been known for football, basketball, kids on East 55th Street in the inner city. They were never known for math and science. And I thought, this is really gonna be amazing. And then when people start hearing about the East Tech robotics team, they sort of just smiled and shook their head and then that happened. Over the course of the next six weeks, nine weeks, as we were putting this together, you could just see the pride in the school when this team was actually built a robot. We figured out at a very early age that we could do more than what was expected from us. Um, and that was all because of the first team. I think of mentorship. I think of a sense of family, community. Um, I think of hard work and I think of exposure and I think of just really opportunities and having really a platform to propel us into something else. Like our team was predominantly African-American. Um, so that was one thing, uh, kind of, well, let's say like a culture shock, so to say, going down there with the other hundreds of teams. And it's like, oh, we're the only one that's predominantly African-American. Wow, you know, we didn't feel offended or afraid. It was just like, wow, okay, this is, we really kind of, you know, this is where we are. So that was a, a interesting situation. So. I got reams and reams of film on how this team was so unique. And we were the first urban team. And the kids were so proud of that. And I, I do remember going to, to Florida, we're in Disney World, um, and you start to interact with some of the other teams and you see, it's like, hey, you know, at East Tech, this is our experience. And they're saying, you know, hey, I'm from wherever, and this is, my experience was completely different. Or here's all the resources that we have. And it's like, oh, that would have been nice to have. When you talk about Team 120, you have to really look at its first real big accomplishment, and that was back in 1999, when they won the uh, National Chairman Award. And at that time, Team 120 was looked at as the miracle on East 55th, because that's where East Tech High School was. It lifted everyone up and gave everyone in the school a sense of pride to see an inner city school for students who, many of whom were raised in poverty, uh, to see that school recognized on television and in the newspapers uh, for being an outstanding school and something positive. Anticipation, waiting for the, the, the Chairman's Award, like the buzz within the group because we were all together near, near the stage, you know, it's just, gave you chills, you know? I'm getting goosebumps right now thinking about it. So he said it like, you know, and this year's Chairman of the Award winner is Team 120. And then that, that's what we always realized, that's us. We ran up there. I mean, we ran like we had just won like a soccer championship, like just like the, the Golden Globe. I mean, it was amazing. Pretty soon scholarships start coming in. Going right down the line, all 15 of my seniors on that team got scholarships to major universities because they applied and they had the confidence to apply and they knew what to do in applying because they weren't scared of it anymore. The Cleveland East Tech students walked away with the prestigious Chairman's Award, making themselves and Cleveland very, very proud. Congratulations, Salvo. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. East, East Tech. East Tech looking good nationwide. Oh, okay. I think I spent the rest of my life giving back, uh, working with kids, trying to inspire. I won an award for community service from the Ohio State Bar Foundation. One of the big reasons why I, I, I still am, am involved in the community and do a lot of community service is because of all the people who did community service and were involved in the community when I was a kid growing up. I don't think Mr. Seppel knew the impact that he was making at the time. Um, I think now when I think about it, when I talk to him and I call him on Thanksgiving, um, occasionally I think, I remember a couple years ago before I had my son, I called him and I said, oh, how are you doing? And it was, I think he was touched that I had reached back out to him. But something that I know and that um, my family knows, my mom knows is I would not be the success that I am without the work that he did to invest in me. So I appreciate that.
when I say first saves lives, so that should be like a new tagline. You just don't know how impactful this program is in schools that oftentimes don't have the funding to even support it. And so, first saves lives.